Cartier is a landmark brand that's steeped in history and creativity, legacy and romance. Cartier, it conjures so many images. The primary one is creativity, followed very closely by elegance. Cartier has never been a brand that simply followed the trends, they've always been the brand that creates them. Cartier as a brand is so sought after. Their history precedes them in a sense, uh, and everybody knows exactly what they're going to get when they get something from Cartier. So the history of Cartier starts in the late 1800s, when Louis-Francois Cartier founded the company. A hundred years later, his son, Alfred Cartier, moved the brand to their boutique in Paris on Rue de la Paix, which is very much seen as the home of Cartier, and it's where they remain to this day. What's unique about Cartier is that they very much concentrate on the basics of design. They'll take simple shapes, um, like a square and a circle, and they play with them. They'll bend them, elongate them, compress them, uh, but ultimately they always refine them. This is what is so sought after. The crash, it's asymmetric, and it's almost as though Cartier have taken an oval and completely crashed it. So the term crash, the word crash, is actually a very apt name. The crash was originally conceived in 1967 in London and it was drawn up by Jean-Jacques Cartier and one of his designers, Rupert Emerson. One of the first buyers of the crash uh, in 1967 was Stuart Granger, an English actor. At the other end of the spectrum, a more contemporary example would be Kanye West. And I think what's interesting about that is it really shows the breadth um, of the type of people who find this watch attractive. It's a watch that can be worn by anybody at any time wearing anything in essence, it's timelessness. It's this timelessness that I think gives Cartier a legacy that it is just constantly enduring.